now dear student we are going to discuss this question question number 4.30 again a week we have a very good question in this question it is given to you a fighter plane flying horizontally at an altitude of 1.5 kilometer with the speed of 720 kilometer per hour clear so we can see uh, let's suppose this is ground clear and let's suppose here we have a fighter uh, plane clear it is having a uniform velocity in horizontal direction 720 km per hour we can convert it into meter per second clear so from here we can say this is 200 meter per second clear to everyone so this is a velocity when it passes overhead an anti-aircraft gun so let's suppose here we have an anti-aircraft gun clear from where we are actually firing some cannon clear so at what angle from vertical so definitely let's suppose if i assume first the angle from the ground we have theta clear so question is asking to you at what angle from vertical should the gun be fired so that shell with muzzle speed 600 meter per second hit plane so velocity of projection is given to you 600 meter per second clear so let's suppose definitely this is this plane is going in horizontal direction and definitely this is moving like this and let's suppose at this point this bullet or we can say yes bullet yes so we can say let's suppose this gun fires this aircraft at this position clear so we can see when this will happen this is happened only when when the distance covered by aircraft this is equal to distance uh, horizontal distance covered by this gun, bullet yes or no it means we can see let's suppose if we take here a component of this velocity this is 600 cos theta so let's suppose this aircraft reaches at this position in time t so what is distance covered by an aircraft we can say this is given by 200 t and this should be equal to 600 cos theta 600 cos theta and multiplied with same time t clear from here you can say t and t is cancelled out and value of cos theta this is given to you 200 by 600 and this is equal to 1 by 3 clear so now we can say value of cos theta this is 1 by 3 clear to everyone yes so this value we know cos theta equal to 1 by 3 but our objective here is to calculate uh, angle from vertical so you can see this is given by uh, 90 minus theta yes or no because this angle is theta this is 90 minus theta so 90 minus we can write like this this is cos inverse 1 by 3 you can put uh, up to this one clear now next part in this question is asking to you at what minimum altitude should the pilot fly so that it avoid being hurt so it means our objective here is to calculate maximum height that is gained by this bullet or cannon yes or no it means now we can write like this yes we can write like this uh, maximum height this is given by u square sin square theta divided by 2g clear why i am writing here theta because theta i am taken here from ground clear so i can see this is equal to u square by 2g and this is 1 minus cos square theta clear now cos theta value is given to you 1 by 3 clear so we can see this is equal to u square by 2g and this is 1 minus 1 by 9 clear yes so now we can see value of u value of u we know this is 600 meter per second so we can write like this 600 into 600 divided by value 2 into let's suppose 10 and we can say this is 8 multiply 9 clear so from here we can say this is 3 this is 200 we can say this is again 200 clear this is 100 clear so finally you can see 100 0 cancel out so 2000 and multiplied with 8 so from here we can say this is 16 kilometer it means if i see if the pilot fly this aircraft above 16 kilometer from ground at that time the aircraft definitely it will protect itself from this fire clear so this is all about this question so first answer we have cos theta equal to 1 by 3 we can say theta minus uh, 90 minus theta and second answer we have this is 16 kilometer clear to everyone so this is all about this question